I kind of feed the hummingbirds. I couldn't figure out why it flew away. And I moved the feeder, and three yellow jackets came out of the feeder. So I took it away, put fresh new food in it, put little tiny broken sticks in it, in the empty holes, the two empty holes, brought it back, and within five seconds of me hanging it, there are a dozen yellow jackets. Now these yellow jackets. All over the hummingbird feeder. The hummingbird bugs me. When I walked up with it, I heard it, I felt it. He was making a flyby to see if it was good to eat off of yet. It would have been if it was in my hand. But, uh... <laughs> the yellow jackets have it. I've never noticed this before. Maybe that's why a hummingbird never eats off of this either. And I spilled stuff all over when I flipped it upside down, because I forgot it comes out the two holes, four holes. So of course it's covered with nice red sticky sugar juice. So they're getting what they can off of it, but luckily the two little sticks are still there and they're not smart enough to knock them out so far. But I don't imagine they'll stay very long, I hope. And maybe the hummingbird will get a chance to eat out the damn food. I thought I shouldn't be standing this close, either. But, I don't know, three feet away. They came out of there in my strawberry bed. So... It looks like they're starting to thin out, finally. Crazy. Damn thing is being in my existence in summer. And what's funny is we just put up a brand new trap for them. Over there. And it's empty. Cause they're all over here. Grrr. And those poor hummingbirds had such a bad spring. They got here and it rained and rained and rained and no flowers bloomed and they had nothing here. Except the few people who put feeders out that early. And they just kept flying by looking for food every day. Now they come back around to store up energy to fly back home now this time of year. End of August, first part of September. And they can't get to the feeders now. Oh. We'll see.